Hi everyone, so I've been asked to do a bit of a craft room organisation tour. My craft room's not that organised, this is probably one of the most organised pieces. So I'm just going to go through um, some of my ways of organising my craft stuff. Okay, so I, I'm on the um, the team for uh, Paper Mill Direct, design team for Paper Mill Direct. And so I keep all of the paper and card I get for them in here in these folders and I just swatch so this is all the card colours that I've got of the plane and that's the plane and then I've got another one here and I've just um, uh, labelled it up basically um, and then I've also got so I've got these like Calax um, units this is not that not that not tidy really um, then my scraps I store in colours so this is my orange and kind of brown one and it's just any little off cuts go in there and then i've got obviously like green i've got your red blue pink etc um and so just yeah silver one for silver one for gold black all the colors um are in here then i've got all my do craft well most of my do craft papers that i had for work in here and i tend to keep um i tend to keep their like set packs so when i used to get these die cut packs and stuff I would put them in these little folders and keep them in here. And so what we've got is I just, yeah, just literally just um, keep it all in here like this. And then that way I find that where you've got different die cut things like this, um, you know, you can get to them easier. Um, and then I've also got, so this would have been a pack that I would have been sent. So I would have been sent the wood stuff, the metallics, and then some little bits and bobs at the back here. So I just used to keep them all together and any toppers and whatever I'll keep there as well. And then above that I've got all my trim craft first edition pads and also any dove craft or whatever. So this is my Christmas this is my Christmas section and this is my non-Christmas section. I've got a random scoreboard. This is just here just to separate them out. I do I did used to use this a lot, but not so much these days. So I've got my first edition six by sixes. Um, and my 12 by 12s. I've had to move the rest of my first edition pads because I've just got too many of them. So I've moved them over the other side of the room to another um, storage section. So here's the rest of my um, first edition pads. So these are my, again, this, this is kind of more race, recent purchases. So these are ones I haven't necessarily been sent. Some I've been sent for dem to demo with in years gone past and some of the ones I've bought. So these are like six by six at the front and then eight by eight and then there's one 12 by 12 at the end. Um, and then this is all the Christmas. So I've moved some of the Christmas stuff over and this was all mainly stuff I'd bought um, mixed in with, in fact, I think I took all my... I can't remember how I organised it now, but this is this is uh, Trimcraft pads anyway. Um, above on this unit here, this is also an IKEA unit, but it's a slightly different one. Um, this is actually my um, so the Swindon ladies gave me a lot of paper pads. So the paper pads that I kept, I keep in here. So this is my eight by eight, um, and this is a lot of like the paper boutique are in here. Um, yeah and then other bits and bobs and then this is my six by six mainly there's some eight baits at the back and i've kind of got non-christmas and then christmas um above it again this is like plain this is all my plain papers mainly and then i have got some christmas um like craft sensation pads here so like your um this sort of thing that i've got from the range um and then i've also got a few do craft ones in here as well um and then again this is all like cheap pads from the range the, most of these i was given by the swindon ladies some of them i've bought and then i've got kind of foils uh foil not foil miri papers here these are ones i've bought but then up here i've got a whole section and i've actually labeled it all so i've got um gold miri card silver miri card then a folder with colored in um and then we go into um flocked card specialized card um honeycomb papers tracing paper acetate metal foil sheets adhesive sheets felt sheets and then this is just like copy paper and photo paper at the end then the one next to it i've got all these little i love these folders i think they're really useful so i've used this again most of it is swindon ladies some of the stuff i've bought like this one was from craft stash 
and you've probably seen me like with the Antonio makes. I just put them in. Um, in fact, let's take that one out, and you can see. I just put them in like a ring bolt, a binder, and I've got all the papers in there. If I get anything for for magazines and stuff, then that will go in here. This one here, for example. Let me show you this one. So where you have like you know these these hunky dory Kanban sheets or whatever, your toppers and you know acetate and all that kind of stuff. I just keep them in here. Um, and I just find it's easier then because then I can just easily quick quickly flick through see what I've got um, And just choose whatever and I've also got some other ones here some Noah's Ark ones Really old stuff again. This is all from the Swindon ladies. The lovely Swindon ladies gave me so much um, So yeah, so that's what I keep in here and even things like decoupage because any little bits I don't use if I pop them out to use them and then decide no I don't want to use them I can just put them back into the pouch so that makes them really easy so that's so I use these all the time these folders and then down on the bottom here I've got a mixture of glitter papers um again these are all Swindon lady ones but they're kind of a five size so I keep them down there and just other random card and papers really in here pearlized there's all sorts down there so they're all kept down there then back over on my other side of the room, so below where my do craft stuff is, I have this kind of, this is for any plain coloured card or paper. So I've mainly got um, like the big packs from Lidl that you can get. So all of this here is all the Lidl packs. And then these again, Swindon ladies, car, these are supposed to be card blanks, but I tend to use them sometimes for card blanks, sometimes because they're quite thin. So I tend to use them more for backing. These are just random sheets I was given. Below that we have, uh, this is all trim craft. So this is all the do craft packs, uh, six by six and eight by eight. And then the decoupage pads at the back. This was my um, folder that I used to take with me on demos. It's got all my foiled and glittered paper in it. Next to that we have, again, more of the Dovecraft. Um, we've got the, these discount packs that were available years ago now, but they were really cool. Well, not that many years ago, but yeah. Um, and then the 12 by 12s um, and we've also got in there um, these ones as well the simply creative pads uh, so any, basically anything that's gym craft goes in there then below that I've got die cutting machines excuse my messy floor um, that's just a random pouch it's not really a uh, corner that's not really got much in it and then starting in this top corner I've got all my do craft um, dies embossing folders uh, these are normal dies Christmas dies and stamps um, and then I've got all of my embellishments and bits and bobs I keep in these so the I used to take these to demos with me so this is this is um this is kind of a bit of demos a bit of not I've also got some random sequins as well uh envelope maker this is um again what I used to take with me so what I used to do was when I came back from a demo when that demo season had finished I would decant anything into these so if i had some certain buttons then the buttons would go in here and i've done them all by color um brads again these were all given to me pretty much all given to me by the swindon ladies um but they're all in there embellishments flowers etc um then if we come down here i've got um this is like my ink pads again these are all swindon lady ink pads um chalk ones um there's my cat hello pepsi um stays on memento so i keep some of my ink pads in here um i've got a few oh i did have heat embossing pads up there but i think i've moved those now um in here we've got sequins washi tape pom-poms so i'll open up one of these so you can have a look so i really like these boxes so inside we've got um washi tapes in there i've got sequins sequins and then underneath is just loads of washi tape a bit more organized i tried to do them in color where I could um, really love these units. They didn't come exactly like this. I've removed, I've moved them all around because they didn't. Um, I've just kind of moved stuff around to make it fit. Hello, Pepsi. You can say hello. No, she's not going to say hello. And then in this one here, I've got dies that have stamps that go with them in this box. And this, these all need to go into a folder, but I haven't had a chance to actually put them in a folder yet. This is my, as it says, cut and stick. So anything that cuts, you can see my blades there, or stick, go in there um then we've got these because these fitted really nicely in here so in here i have got basically like it said just tools eyelets glue gun 
anything that's tools, a crocodile, big bite, etc. Um, and then I keep my stamps, not probably the most organised, I keep my stamps in one of these, um, in these folders and separated out. I would like a better way of doing it, but I haven't managed to come across one yet. So this is like my everyday stamps. And then this one here, sorry, that's my Christmas stamp. These are my everyday stamps. Um, and then we move across to here and I've got my foiling, anything that's foiling or um, gilding flakes is all in here. And then I wanted something to put my uh, embossing folders, gems, stuff like that. So I've bought these little drawer sets and this is my gems and pearls. So it's a bit messy at the moment, but um, normally they're all kind of, I've done them, I did do them in uh, colour. So they're all on the side, they're all kind of like this. So I can quickly flick through and see what I want. And then these were all the ones from, um, these did have all of my Trimcraft gems in. So a few others have, have found their way in there now, but that, that's what's in there. And then the next drawer down, I've got glitter and 3D pearl effects. Um, I've also got a box with just like, you know, when you cut out random shapes um, and I've separated them out. So I've got like a little bag for ovals, one for butterflies, etc. So all my 3D pearl effects are in here. I've got a whole load of glitter in here, a whole load of tub full of glitter, um, pack of baby wipes and my, uh, and this as well, metallics um, fabric paint. Um, and this is basically for, um, because my desk is literally just there, I can sit down and I can easily grab this. Um, and in here we've got heat embossing powders. So again, here's all my heat embossing powders. Um, and then I've got my Ducraft work ones there. And then these are obviously ones I bought. And all these are ones I've bought. So that's in that drawer. I've got another set of drawers next to it. So I've got... Um, that says brushos and it has got brushes in it so this one's got brushos and punches in it and also these watercolor pads here are all my brushos i need to get them out and start having a go with them again because they are useful so that's all there and then punches that i've been given they all go in there next drawer down we've got embossing folders and some other random bits some silk clay and other things but i just found this is this is literally all the embossing folders i've got so i found this is the best way of um, sort of storing them and I can just quickly flick through. I've tried to do it size wise um, So that's that drawer And then down here we've got distress inks and blending brushes and also my newly acquired alcohol inks as which I've made a little oh, it's coming unstuck. I made a little um, uh, Tray for it. But I didn't quite make it big enough um, and then I keep all my blending brushes I use these ones which I get from Amazon or Aliexpress um, and I've just labelled them all up. So they've all go, you know, so literally I, I will use, there's a brush per colour. So that's all of those. And I try and group them. So these Ferrero Rocher trays, um, I try and make sure, so like this one, for example, is all like your reds and your oranges. And then I've got another one here. This is all like your greens and yellows. And then this will be like your blues and purples or pinks or whatever. Um, so that's what I try and do for that. And then my distress inks, are kept in these now these are from candy box crafts um and you get them and you make that yourself and they're really cool um so it's a bit of a project to you know make them up yourself but they're not that difficult to make up and then you can obviously deco mash them you know deco whatever yourself but they're really cool because you've got like three um three layers to them so this is um as I, I, so i'll try and organize it they fit Two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty of the little cubes per side, per you know, um, layer, as it were. So I keep my yellows and oranges and reds at the top, my blues, purples, and pinks there, and then underneath here is my greens and kind of teals and peacocks, and then the bottom of here is just oh, uh, browns. And as you go, I've got space there as well because I haven't got many colours of distress inks, as you can see. So that's those and then in the second one that I've got is all my distress oxides and also my isink pigment at, um, pads so again I've tried to do it so I've got pinks and purples and then I've got oranges and reds Ooh. and then in the next one down I've got greens and blues 
and then the one below that is like a random green and the rest of mine is inks so that's um yeah as you can see i haven't got a great deal of distressed oxides but that's how i keep those and then over the other side of my desk i've got the same drawer unit again i've got um um a drawer with five by seven envelopes in it i've got one with six by six uh five by six envelopes and just random cards and envelopes and then this is just like random envelopes um so that's like my card and envelope drawer and this is literally i sit literally just here so um yeah it's easy to get to and then i've got this drawer unit um which i keep my ribbons in so the top drawer is like your neutrals um, yellows, orange, green, black, grey, etc. So this is all like, you know, like not random, just random bits, not reels. Um, the drawer below, I've got gold, silver, red, pink, purple and blue. Again, same again, try and keep them kind of organised. And then after that, it's a kind of a free-for. These still need to be organised. Again, these were all given to me, um, but I still need to get these sorted. So there's that drawer there. I have other drawers down below as well with ribbon in. And then I have another drawer unit, which is just like a normal chest of drawers type drawer. Um, and this, I keep all my all the cards that I've made go in here. And so, well, not all the cards, but quite a few of the cards that are made go in here. So this will be my birthdays and Christmas. And then I've got another box, um, which I keep birthday in. And I've got another box for like thank you cards and um you know the other sentiments and then i have a drawer here which is all of my tape so red tape double-sided tape any other types of tape that all goes in here um so then if i'm low on tape i can have a look in here some random bits in here as well but i can have a look in here and see do i need tape yes or no and then last but not least at the bottom here we have other envelopes and card blanks uh, which I used to use all the time. I couldn't fit these in that other drawer. So these are kind of like a bit odd shapes or they're craft or they're different colours or whatever. So you've got like, you know, different different sizes. Some are just envelopes. There's all sorts from demos. There's a whole lot of just normal envelopes here. So these are just like cards and envelopes. Don't use this drawer very often, actually. I sort of forget about it because I tend to use the one that's right by my um, desk. Okay, so then for my pro markers, I bought this um, case thing, which is quite cool. And I bought two of them um, because thanks to the Swindon ladies, I have a lot of pro markers. So it's got a Velcro on the front as well as clips. And then inside it's got this, it's got Velcro at the sides here, so it keeps it all in. But if you undo the Velcro at the sides, it's got like a carry case strap. You've got um, space for all your pro markers. And so... Um, it's just really good i find it really handy and so what i've done is i actually went through and this is as you can see behind you can see all the color behind those are all swatches um and so if i just pull one out for example like this one so what i've done is at one end i've written the um you see it's focus i've written what it's called and then i've colored it so this this end is just one 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 layer of the color and then I went over the again for this side um, so I can see what it looks like when you layer it up the different colours. And so that was, yeah, so that's what I've done with that. And I've got another one of these um, with my, my blues and blues and greens and other colours in. Well, there's some blues, but yeah, the, the other the other one's got um, got the other ones in it. So, yes, yeah, so it's quite useful. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description below for um, this this carry case if i can find it if it's still available um but i did like it because you can fit a lot in i can't remember exactly how many you can fit in uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen times one two three four five six seven eight eight or nine something like that um but yeah it's, uh, it's very useful that is so that's what i got for my pro markers to organize them and then last, definitely last, this is the end of the tour now. So this is my quite a messy cupboard, but I've just based, I know everything is. I've got paint and stuff here, um, spray cans for when I do, because I used to do like window props and stuff like that. So that was useful for that and for drama as well. Um, glues there, tacky glue and whatever, gloves. And then these boxes here are all my cake decorating stuff. So all my cake decorating stuff's at the back there. Um, tack on powder, shaving foam for when I do that kind of thing. 
um yeah just random things really but i know where everything is um so yeah so that's the end of my craft room tour there is other bits but it's a bit of a mess so that's all i can really show you for now i've also got some little tester pots down here which i keep on top of this so these are like these were laura she was shutting down so i went and got those um i think these were from hobbycraft got reduced so yeah so that's pretty much my tour um not the best i can't show you the whole thing because the room is an absolute state but um, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know your organisation, uh, ways of organising your craft supplies and we will see you later. Bye.